Hey, what's up all? Alan here with Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning back in. So today we're gonna check out and review the fan from Warming Planet. Now this is a 52 inch fan, so plenty of movement with air. It also includes a 24 watt LED and a remote. So you can, you know, obviously control it from the wall or you get a remote that you can put next to the bed or the couch, wherever you want to install it. Now, right here, I have one that's already installed. So it should be pretty easy. I don't have to put any other brackets or any of the other wiring. So it is pre-wired for a light and a fan, but I want to switch it out because I need this fan down in my office. And this one, we're going to do this one here. So this one is the gray and white version. If you saw the unboxing video, which I'll put a link right here, you'll see all the different things that are included, what it actually looks like. But you got two different colors on the fan blade. So you have this gray or closer to like a silver color. And then you also have white, depending on what you want to use. So right now, I'm just taking a look at some of the instructions here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up and get it all ready. So that way I can take that one down and easily swap it out and mount it. So let's get started. All right, so I got that all put together. It was really easy to do. Instructions were pretty straightforward and simple to follow. So you'll see the unit here, which is pretty much ready to go. You got the wires coming up and then all the different pieces. And then the fan blades, once it's up, then you'll be able to connect it. Fan blades were also really easy to set up here. So you'll see that you just follow the instructions, make sure this side up. So the, it's on the white side that's facing up because I'm gonna use the gray side here to face down. But now, what's next? I gotta go turn the power off and then take the fan down that's up there and just replace this one and wire it up. You got all, this should have four wires here. So we got the ground wire and then we have the neutral, the hot, and uh, also the one for the lighting here, which is the blue one. So we should be pretty good to go. Hopefully, we're gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, so right now I'm putting this part together with the coupler and the down rod. Now this is the piece that's going to go up against the ceiling and screw into the box in the ceiling. Now this metal here, it's not that it's sharp, but it's a, it's a little bit sharper uh, than maybe I would like. So be careful when you're working with this. And um, it's also not extremely thick metal. So if you were to fall on it or anything like that, you could possibly bend it. But So just keep that in mind. Just be careful when you're working with it. Once it's up and set up in the ceiling, you're not going to really have any problem. All right, so I took the other mount down that was with the other fan, installed this one, used the same screws that was actually with the other mount because they may have been a little bit bigger than the screws that were included with, the, with this new fan. So I didn't want anything to drop out of the ceiling. And I'll just use those screws downstairs because that one never had a fan in it and I'm not worried. So right here, you'll see all the wires. We have another ground wire here right there coming off. So I'll just pull that off and then we'll tie that into the ground and then into the wires that are on the fan base. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick and put it up and you'll see here. So you don't have to worry about your shoulders giving out. You can pretty much just take it and slide it in and then work with all the wires and you should be set to go. What's gonna happen here, that little piece at the end is gonna slide right into there and then we'll give us some room to work with those wires. So right there, you're gonna see it's gonna just pretty much just work around those wires and then you can so right here is the wireless controller for the remote now it's going to slide right into that spot right up there and then there is a wiring diagram how to set that all up which is in the instructions so uh, we got these two on the side which are going to get the power in it goes through here and then we connect the other side it looks like one's uh neutral we got another hot um and then the blue, which is for the light, I believe it is. So we'll go ahead, wire that up and uh, get it all set up. It is kind of a tight fit. So put in the remote, it looks like in the instructions that we're not gonna need this other wire here, which was connected to the light switch by itself because the switch will be powered by the remote. So it's getting power in, it looks like to this unit, and then it puts power back out to the light and then back down. So I'm just gonna have to cap this one off and that secondary switch is it just seems like it's just not gonna work anymore because it's no longer needed. So if you end up not using a remote, you can always bypass that and then go right to it. Because I don't wanna put uh, power back to that, to the blue, because if we do that, then it's bypassing this switch and kind of sending power backwards into 
the unit and I don't want to blow that up. So let's not do that. Let's just follow directions. We got a black and a white that go into it. It's all grounded uh, from the other connections. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the fan blades on and then we'll get the light on and I'll put some power to it to make sure it all works and then we'll seal it off. And putting in the blades can always be a little bit of a challenge, especially with the screws. So you want to make sure your screwdriver actually will hold those screws because you have to put the screw kind of up into there, align the fan blade with the hole. You kind of see those holes. And if you do it the first time and the other hole does not line up, it's because um, it's not aligned to where those blades need to go. They are like uh, they're spread out. So you know, and you can't screw up and have like something that's kind of off. So I got two up right now, uh, power's still off. They will start spinning a little bit because of the weight, but not much, not gonna take your head off or give you a haircut, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones up. So for the light that's on the bottom here, there's a little power connector here that pulls down and it will connect to the power side, wherever that is right here. Nice and easy to do. And then those screws that we took out earlier, there's four of them. That's gonna hold it up to the base unit. Now don't put a lot of pressure on this because I find that, not that it's gonna bend in half, but it does have some movement to it, this part up here, and you don't wanna bend it and make it not straight. So I'm a bit of a fanatic when it comes to the wires. Uh, I still like to do electrical tape around them, especially since they're the ones for the fan are the braided wires going into the harder wires. Like it's probably like a 12 gauge or something. Um, and I find sometimes they can slip a little bit. So even though they're in the wire nuts, I still come back in and do some electrical tape around it. That way it's not going anywhere. Some people go like, oh, you don't need it. Not a big deal. I like it totally up to you, whatever you want to do. All right, so even though it's not sealed up yet, we should still have power now just to test it, see what happens, so flip the switch. All right, switches are on, and we do have power. That is good. Let's see if the light on off works. Yep, that works. And then it starts to spin. That is a good sign. So no sparks, no nothing like that. So we are spinning a little bit. It's gonna turn it off, and then let me see if I gotta do anything there. It actually with these lights, cause they are LEDs, little LEDs there. So what happens if those start to burn out? Hopefully we can get a replacement for that uh, because it's not just like a traditional bulb. That's my only real concern with the whole unit. But overall it was really easy to set up because we had an existing fan, wiring was really easy. Um, we don't have to use the second switch that's on the wall because the power for the light goes through the remote unit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, turn the power back off, and then seal it all up, put the base on, make sure everything's um, you know nice and level so it's not shaking or anything when we get really fast. It does come with some weights if we need that, but otherwise we're ready to go. All right, so moment of truth. It is all set up and sealed. Let's see if you can see that. So we have our timer setting on the bottom there as well as low, medium, and high. I kind of wish there was a setting to adjust the brightness of the light not that i see there yet i'm going to check it out see if that works or not but if we click that let's go there it goes looks good it's pretty quiet that's the medium setting and now this fan being 52 inches is pretty big for this room so i can all, all really i can already feel it getting nice and cool over here and that's on the medium it's pretty quiet. It has a little bit of a whir to it. I mean, that's just the fan going through the air, right? And then let's crank it up to high. High is really crazy. I mean, I feel like the room's going to take off almost. But overall, that is really quiet. And really producing a good amount of uh, airflow there. Nice and cool. I'm going to crank it down to medium. And then go back down to low. And then we can hit stop. And that's going to just turn it off and the light off. You were to set it up and it was kind of wobbly or anything like that. It does come with a few weights. You can always buy more weights at any of the hardware stores. I'll put some of the links below for some of that. The link below for the fan. And then also if you wanted the fan, if the ceiling was a lot higher and you wanted to drop it down a little bit further, it does come with an extension pole. We didn't need it. We wanted it nice and close. And it probably drops down maybe eight inches from the ceiling or so. So that's good, equal to where the other fan was. But depending on your ceiling height, you may want to change it. Now, I don't think this one will go flush against the ceiling. Um, not that I see that that will work, so that may not be for you if that's what you're looking for. But overall, a really cool fan, and 
it does have the two different sides there. It has the gray side, which we set up, or the white on the other side, depending on what you want. The light, and like I said, you, the only thing I really worry about is those LEDs going out. So I'm gonna confirm with the company, is like, is this something that we could order um, that's gonna be out there, relatively available? So if I need to order a new LED pack, how much is it? Is it as much as a fan? I hope not, because they should last for a long time. You're not probably using it that much. But it is something to keep in mind because it's not just a standard LED light bulb. But being that, it does keep it nice and flush too. So, you know, depending on depending on how you feel about doing something like that. Overall, the setup of this Warming Planet modern style fan, this is the gray and white 52 inch version, was really simple. If you wanna see actually what came in the box overall, just check out the unboxing video. We're gonna go ahead and use it. There is a reverse flow on top there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Depending on which way you want the air to go, push down or suck up, depending on the season. Otherwise, I think it's a really great fan. They do have a lot of other type of models that are out there. So if you're looking for something that doesn't look like this or maybe need something a little bit smaller, uh, Warming Planet does have a lot of different things. And they also have lighting, I believe, for like the garage and stuff like that too. So check that out. I have a link below for them. And... Um, Overall, really happy with this install. Easy to do, good quality product uh, from what I can see as far as the pieces and parts that were all there putting it together. So if you're looking for something like this, check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe right here. Click that little bell icon to stay up to date with everything I do. And I'll see you in my next video.